Hello and welcome to a brand new 7 Days to Die series on the channel. This is Desert Ranger 2023, and if you haven't seen the original Desert Ranger, which I think was 2021, basically what's happening here is this entire map is desert, and in Alpha 21 you get a huge game stage boost for being in the desert, which will make Horde Nights so, so hard in the late game. So that's going to be a late game challenge for me. You do also get a nice loot stage boost, but it's the weakest loot stage boost of them all, so it's kind of not that helpful. I am playing on insane difficulty with my kind of usual settings. I'm playing with a lot of mods. They are linked in the description, and there is a video called Desert Ranger Episode Zero, where I go in depth on all the mods I'm using, the things you should know, a lot of gun mods. I've still got B-dubs vehicles. I have a mod by Cautious Pancake, who you should all go subscribe to, he makes really good videos, uh, which adds a lot of trader quests, which are going to be kind of interesting because I'm very bored of clears and fetches. And I also have a mod called Research, which allows you to make a research bench which you can use to scrap books, which turn into research data, which you can use to craft whatever learn by reading books you want. It removes a lot of the RNG of the learn by reading system, which for me was really frustrating. So I think this should just be in the base game, assuming the mod all works. I've not tested it a crazy amount, but if it works, this should just be in the base game. It's so, so nice to be able to scrap schematics, books and magazines into like a tenth of a book you actually need. Oh, and one quick thing I forgot to actually put in episode zero, so I'll throw it in here. This is the world. This is what I generated. This is the seed. It is Yeehaw. Very, very unenthusiastically, that is important. So let's get on to playing challenge. It shouldn't be too hard for the first couple of days because it's not... Oh, I've stood in a cactus game over. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard in the first couple of days because really the difficulty of the desert comes from game stage multipliers which aren't a thing really until at least the first horde night. But I think we can encounter ferals a lot sooner than you would probably want to so it could be very scary. We'll just have to see. One of the goals I have for this series by the way is I want to definitely find another ranger station, preferably one of the newer ones, and build a base there. I think that would be cool, like I did in the original Desert Ranger, but in the original Desert Ranger I was next to one at the start, in this one I'm not. Boom. Now what I'm actually going to do for the start of this series is go strength, and that might be a little bit weird, because I usually go for agility and perception for this build, but the reason I'm starting strength is because I'm going to need a good base if I'm going to survive the really hard hordes. So I'll go for strength, I'll get you know, clubs and stuff for a little while, and then I'll switch over to agility and stuff like that later on, just because having minor 69er and mother load is important, so I will forget an elixir out of clubs at a later date. There we go, where's the nearest trader? Oh yeah, it's just Hugh over there, let's go have a look. Oh, I stood in another damn cactus. Gotta watch out for those vultures though, they'll rip me to shreds on this difficulty. Ooh, boots, nice. First forge ahead, I'll get me a do collector, which is gonna be pretty important. And I'll get a second one from the destroyed cement mixer. Nice. Oh, an extended magazine. Nice. I'm not sure what I'll be able to put that on anytime soon, but nice. Okay, so he has two speed clears, one clear plus meds, one supply drops, and one buried supplies. A supply drop, you go out at night, you collect an airdrop, and you bring it back to him. Pretty self-explanatory. The clear plus meds, you have to gather up a bunch of meds and then clear a POI and leave the meds behind and you get rewarded for that. I won't be able to do that right now because the meds would just be too expensive for me to get. It's, it's day one. But speed clears, those I can do. Speed clears are just clears except you get rewarded for doing them faster. So let's take that passing gas store number 10. I'm going to use this car as a temporary storage. Don't try this at home, I don't know if it's safe, but uh, I don't really care, so it's fine. That's the passing gas I- oh, hi Coyote. I'm just gonna try and like, jump up here. Oh, there's a dog in this POI, shit. But let me- ow! How can he jump like that? <laughs> gonna jump up here. There's a zombie dog, but whatever. Okay, you know what? Here's a handy land, I'm gonna grab that. I think you actually need to have the research bench to do it, otherwise you'll just, like... Oh, hey, Coyote. Yeah, I think you need the research bench to actually scrap the materials to get research data, otherwise you just get paper. I need to run away from this. He does 25 damage. I can't kill it. I should go get some bow materials from out in the wilds. Well, not bow materials, but arrow materials. Oh, and I don't have the headshot mod from the last series either because it was just too annoying with vultures. Considering how many of them I'm going to have to deal with, I'll pass on that. I need to find some bird's nests. That vulture... Well, you are a bird's nest, I suppose. Come and attack me. But I hope I just... Kill it in one hit. Perfect. 
38 uh, feathers. That's pretty nice. Let me get some stones. Oh, I have stones. Never mind. Let's make some arrows. I'll let those craft and I'll hopefully the dog that I woke up inside the POI will just go back to sleep and will be reset by the quest and the coyote might have just moved so I won't have to worry about it too much. I see so many of them though that's gonna be a problem. I need to get a pipe machine gun now. Now on the plus side the desert is covered in aloe so you can gather four aloe make an aloe cream and get five health very easily and once you've found like five medical journal books you'll be able to make a lot of first aid bandages quite easily so it does make up for how much more difficult it is to deal with all these like dog creature things but also the extra food is nice but it's they're still kind of very deadly as i one shot one of them <laughs> they're quite light on health but they will rip you to pieces on insane difficulty at least ow now the thing about coyotes is, uh, they have slightly more sophisticated AI than most of the other things in the game, along with wolves, in that if you damage them a lot they will just leave you alone for a little bit. They have some form of self-preservation, which is nice because it means you don't have to kill them to get them off you, but they do so much damage for something so small. Right, so I think I want to live in that radio station later, but let's deal with this place first. Let's reset it. Now, I don't know how the timer works. Oh, I see. I see. So I've got two minutes to clear this. Let's get in here and do it then. Now, I don't expect to do fantastically well on the timer when I'm still barely able to fight a zombie. But if I can get the bronze timer, at least I'll take it. The real issue is going to be the dog in the back. Like, I could see that fight dragging on. Shouldn't, shouldn't be looting. There's no reason to loot. <laughs> one of you wants to come through and the other one doesn't. That'd be helpful. A stamina regen. There goes the silver, I'm guessing. I think I have just the dogs out. No, I have more than the dogs I remember now. <laughs> it's a pretty hard tier 1 actually. I know a lot of tier 1s I could do in 2 minutes with just a wooden club, but this isn't one of them. Still, I think I get a reward for doing it, just not as good. Hi, hello. Come and fight me please. You come through the door. Oh, this is definitely not even going to be a bronze run. Killed him, cool. Now I think I just get shit rewards for doing it slowly, but what do you expect when you just start out as insane difficulty and I have a club? It would be boring if I came in here and just immediately got a gold medal, don't you think? Come through. There we go. Really, you're gonna go for that? Right, and the last one's the dog a bit. My timer is off anyway, so I might as well just see what we get in the end loot, if anything can help me with it. Uh, needle and thread six, I'll just... Oh wait, is that the... Oh no, it's puffer coat, so we'll keep that. Scrap it or stuff. By scrap it, I mean turn it into research data. I'll actually read the home cooking weekly one. That is just useful. Alright, how do I want to fight this dog? Probably try and get a sneak attack on it. Try being the big word. I think stealth actually will help a lot with the uh, speed clears. Because on insane difficulty, if you're bonking everything, it will take a lot of hits. Oh, are you just not going to spawn in until I come down? Oh, fucking shit game. Oh, he's stuck. This is going to take so many arrows to kill him. What is wrong with this damn dog? There we go. I'm interested to see if I'm like punished for not doing it quickly or if you just get rewarded for doing it fast if you can. Yeah, you still get a reward. That's not bad. I'll take 10 duct tape right off the bat. Uh, let's do another speed clear then. But before... Oh, that's going to have a biker in it. That's going to take ages to clear. So I'm not getting it on that one either. Uh, but before I do anything, I kind of want to clear the radio station because I kind of just want to live there for now. It seems like a nice little almost ranger station type place, you know? It's a tier one. It'll have a bunch of books in it as well. So we'll do that first. So I have somewhere to sleep for tonight. And by sleep, I mean sit. There's no actual sleeping in this game for very obvious reasons. Swing that open. Let's have a look inside. I do like that speed clear though. I just I'm not particularly well equipped to do them yet. <laughs> Saw one zombie, can I? There's one sneak attack. Where's the other guy? Hi. Vulture, do you want to attack me? You're a very good source of feathers if you do. Like, please just come and attack me. There we go. Nice not having to kill 75 zombies every time I want to get into a POI. Forge ahead. Farming. Yeah, I'll learn that. Same with the scrapping. Not everything's worth scrapping just yet. Some things you actually do want. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, bookshelves. Two hammers. Uh, sledgehammers. No, 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 no. Don't scrap them. Oh, wait. You can scrap them for research data. Ah, well, I'll just do that then. Yeah, there we go. Can't do much with the research data until I make one of the, the benches, though. It's good to know. Like, I don't need armored up. I don't need knife guy. Well, maybe I did need knife guy, but we'll find loads of those anyway. Hello. Oh, I should get behind the door. Oh, club broke. Ow. He dead? I think so. Let's go get the loot. Uh, batter up. Mm, yeah, I'll just, I'll read that. Even though I'm not sticking with clubs in the long run, I'll, I'll 
take it. Nice to get a, a medical journal. That's very important because first aid bandages are going to be very easy to get. So being able to make them is a top priority for me. Big hitters. For that, I care less, but I will just make sure I can make better clubs. Another forge ahead. Nice, I can make a forge. Fantastic. Not a bad time to be able to do that by. Yeah, I'm going to live in here for a while. Anyway, till I find a uh, ranger station. Have I got enough stuff to make a bedroll? No. So yeah, if we look here... You can see that it takes about 10, this is on default version of the research mod, it takes about 10 research data and some paper to make Forge Ahead, for example. Uh, I think they're all the same. Yeah, so you can progress towards whatever you want, you just need to have one of those research stations, which I really like. Because it's not like I can just turn every book I get into something I want, but it does mean that I can turn you of what I don't want into something I do want, which massively trims down the RNG of that mechanic, which which is like the most frustrating part of it, I'm sure most would agree. Make a quick bedroll and a quick storage thing. What was that? Isaiah, so is there like a poster where you can see the 762? I mean, let's see what it is. I have the ability to make it. What are you? Are you you're an Isaiah poster of some kind. Ah, it actually tells you the different tiers of the 762 weapons. Cool. You have to get very close to be able to read it at all, though. But maybe, I mean, it's just, like, realistic. Uh, my eyesight's also that bad. And right, then, let's go see if we can complete this speed clear in any time that would be considered speedy. Right, well, let's try and speed clear it. 45 seconds for a golden clear. Let's see what I can do. Damn. Can I thread the needle? Can. There's one down, there's someone hiding over here. I can't get a shot of his head, though. Nope, stamina. Oh, vultures coming. You're gonna slow me down. Go away. Or just attack me. One of the two. Come on. I'll skin that later. Right, so this is the last room. It should have a few zombies in it, but that biker's gonna take so many shots to kill. Oh, hey there. Didn't realize he had a buddy. This is gonna take a while. There goes my silver, anyway. I wouldn't imagine my bronze is very likely either. It's with how long it takes to kill a biker in these settings. Oh, are they seriously stuck on the other side or something? What? I actually want to fight them and then I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, there goes the bronze as well. Oh well. Yeah, that's right, you just keep hitting the bus. I'm sure this will work in my favour. There's one dead at least. You just die. Yes, not. Right, I'm gonna get some more arrows. How is this bug still in the game? Switch back to the arrows, there we go. Oh, he's in nightmare speed mode. I am not going down there. I pissed him off that badly. He's gone nightmare. There we go. That was certainly not a fast clear, but still. You just seem to get clear rewards for doing it, so it's better than nothing. Uh, Spear Hunter, I'm going to be scrapping that. Two first aid bandages, at least elite one of those. Forge ahead and some repair kits and stuff. There's another container over here, though. Uh, electrical traps, scrap, tools digest. Read that one. I said back to Hugh. We got two jobs done at least. I would consider doing the nighttime job, but I think it's going to be pretty hard and I don't feel like dying on day one, so no. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll get a feral biker and he'll just one-shot me legitimately. Bikers do a base damage of 50 on insane and if you double that with a feral, that's probably a one-hit kill. Big hitters and I'll scrap the machine gun one. Here's one glue at least have that pipe machine gun soon. <laughs> I think I forgot to fully loot the gas station, so I'll maybe do that with the rest of my day. Hi, you. Ah, 10 glue? Yeah, I'll take that. Unless that's a cigar. No, I'll take the 10 glue. Clear plus meds? Yeah, I don't want to do any of those. I don't even think I could do the meds one right now. I'm too poor. The, can I get a cooking pot and a cooking grill? And I will save for a water filter. Let's go and finish off looting the gas station. I kind of abandoned looting it because I was against the clock, you know? But then I forgot I could have looted it. <laughs> Let's see what we get in here. I'm gonna stone axe this toilet so I get some pipes. Now, the big issue with making a pipe machine gun is I don't have any 762, but it's relatively easy to get, unless I might actually. I forgot, it looks different now, so I may have even picked some up earlier, but I don't have much of it. There we go, there's four pipes. I can probably just make the pipe machine gun, right? Yeah. Pipe machine gun, and do I have any food on me? No. Might find some in here though. Oh, thirsty as well, jeez. Oh, a cigar. Nice. All right, I accept any bullshit with bikers today. That was my payment for that. I got a cigar for it. Nice. Which is extra nice because it means I don't have to go for five strength now. I can just sit here with four and let the cigar carry me. I can get another rank of Pummel Pete. I can go minor 69 or in mother load and then I can go into like agility or something a bit more interesting than strength while still 
having the ability to mine at a reasonable speed. Speaking of which, there's a level. Let me get Pummel Pete 3. That'll help quite a bit. Vehicle Adventures and... What does Handy Land give you? The first... Okay, you need five to get a claw hammer. I will read Handy Lens until I unlock a level one hammer. And then I just don't care at that point. <laughs> it's just not that important. I need some... Oh, hey. Feathers. I need some stone. Curious Fists. Grab that. There we go. I can make a shovel now. <laughs> Vehicle Adventures. Cool. Now I'm going to shovel up all this stuff. Because I could use some clay and stone and cobblestone. Also, the paper from these is very welcome for the books that I need to craft. And the scrap polymer from these for the do collector I will inevitably make tomorrow or the day after. These cardboard boxes are also paper and scrap polymer, but they're kind of shitty for both of them. So they're not top priority right now. Right, I have everything I need for a forge except leather. Uh, I do actually have the leather though back at my base. So I will go back and I will make my day one forge. I don't really need it, it's just nice to have one. Oh, and I need to consider the research bench as well. That's, ah, yeah, I'm going to be stuck for a while until I can get that fifth mechanical part, which is kind of just, right now, I think it's just luck. Unless I can find a mailbox. I will can... I could have a look around, but I don't want to be caught out at night. Unless I have one in this chest in here. I have 9 mil, not 762, okay. Grab the leather, make a forge, cool. That'll just allow me to do a lot of nice things. I could even make a wrench, uh, but I don't know how many mechanical parts you need for a wrench. You need four, so I could make 12 forged iron, and then I could get all the mechanical parts I need, which would then probably allow me to make a research bench as well, so that's good. It all depends on how much iron I can find in here and gather without dying. I can see a lot of iron things in here. Oh, hey, an ammo pile. Ah, 556. Five, so yeah, during the night, I'm going to just quietly scrap away at various things, and I'll see if I can get a wrench, and I'll see if I can then get the five mechanical parts I need. I don't know if I'll find them in here. There's clocks. That might work, actually. So I will do that during the night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, my wrench is crafted. I just need five mechanical parts to make the research bench, so I'm going to try and do that. There's two from this, at least. Yep, two. There's another one of those in here, so I can probably get another couple from it. There's one more. There's a fourth one. There's a fifth one, and we can make the research bench. Craft that. It takes 28 seconds. I should have the materials to make four skill books, and I'm not sure what I want to do. I think maybe home cooking is a really good starting one. Maybe three of those, because... What is it? You get grilled meat at what level? Okay, maybe getting four of those so that I can make grilled meat and not have to eat charred meat ever again is a really good start. I also know that the food quests that you get are somewhat oriented around grilled meat and stuff, so if I want to open up more quests I could possibly do for myself, that's definitely something I should consider. So maybe four home cooking weeklies? Oh, I need more paper. That's fine. We can do that. Or I could also go for medical journals, which would allow me to make first aid bandages. I think that's honestly more important because first aid bandages are basically free in the desert. So getting medical journals really quickly is a smart choice. But you can see how this is going to be really helpful for getting like vehicle adventures and stuff. So let's get two of those. I'll have a look around this POI for more paper, but I doubt there is any. Yeah, I was able to get like five paper, but it's not enough. Now, the thing you need to know about medical journals is they're not that good of a book and they're very common, but being able to get first aid bandages that easily, that quickly in this series is a unique circumstance where I would want to somehow rush getting first aid bandages. If we read that, we're up to three and I need, I only need one more after this. So I could make at least one home cooking. Once I've got those up to like five and six respectively, I'll start going towards probably forge ahead. I feel like that's the most important one right now because I can't do much with vehicle adventures or any of the advanced weapon things until I have a workbench. So I'll probably focus my efforts on forge ahead, then tools digest and vehicle adventures. And I'll just let my weapon perks carry the looting of those. You usually get those at a decent enough pace early on. I just need one more. So I just need 14 paper. There's no real rush on it though. Despite there being no rush, I decided to come back over here really quickly and get some paper. There we go. There's 25 paper. Let me try and get back to my base. Let's make another 
Medical Journal. It's quite funny how Medical Journal is a book I've never cared about, but now that I have the ability to really quickly increase it, it feels really important to get first aid bandages quickly. Funny how that works. There we go. I can now make first aid bandages, and as long as I can keep first aid bandages on me, I can heal, and that means playing is way easier. So I'm going to wait until morning. It's really quiet around here. I don't trust it. My next skill point is going into living off the land so I can get twice as much aloe, meaning I can get twice as many first aid bandages. The limiting factor right now, though, is cloth. But that's just how it is. All right, it is morning. I still need some paper for another book I could make, but I'm not even sure what I would get. Probably still want to work towards home cooking weeklies so that I can make basic things like grilled meat and goldenrod tea. I did a quick test of the food jobs and the medical jobs before I started this series and I know that you definitely need to, like grilled meat and stuff to do the food jobs so that would open up quite a lot for me. Yeah, level 3 wooden club, not bad. Desert loot actually being quite helpful there. Oh, he's in sprint mode, run away! Okay, that wasn't too bad actually. <laughs> There's another first aid bandage if I can get like 10 more cloth, I can make another bandage, because I have another aloe cream coming. You can see how this is going to be very helpful to have now, because the desert is just an infinite supply. That's a lumberjack, I'm running away from him. This might give me a good amount of cloth. There we go. I lost a couple of bits there. Devastated. Right, that's enough for two bandages at least. Some more red tea, nice. Make two bandages, see if I can find a couple more cloth, I suppose. Now, this thing's made of cloth. Uh, but it's guarded by a million crawlers. That's not worth the fight. <laughs> now, one of the nasty things about the desert is you're not going to find any big patches of cotton, goldenrod, or red tea. Which means getting those things is all a lot harder. Oh, I hear a vulture. Where are you? You just spawned there. Don't even pretend like you didn't. We're just waiting for the trader to open here, by the way. Oh, there's two of you. Great. Wonderful. Love that for me. More feathers. Can I make arrows? Can. Would you shits just attack me or not? This is unnecessary. And what if I stab myself with a cactus and take damage? Will that make them come after me? Yes, I'm weakened. You should attack me. I don't think they work like that. If only I had a bicycle so I could bait them. Oh, the hot weather's starting to get to me. That's another issue with the desert. I'm gonna have to go through so much water. I'm gonna grab all my shit that I left here. Oh, I had food in here. Nice. That's something at least. Uh, I can put the extended mag on the pipe gun. I'll take all this stuff back to my base in a moment. Thank you. Fetch, clear plus food. Uh, I'll show you guys the clear plus food, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Crow residence. Gather two cornbread, two grilled meat, and two goldenrod tea. I could make two grilled meat, but two goldenrod teas? Nah, I don't have any goldenrod, and I don't have any corn meal. I have a corn meal. I might be able to do this. You know what, let's give it a try. God, I'm slow. Now, wait, do I even have the ability to make those yet? No, 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 I can't do them yet because I haven't done the books. Right, well, I'll cancel this for now. And once I do have, like, six, we know what we need to actually do those. Uh, fetch. Now, the nice thing about the food quest is you can kind of prepare for it before you do it. So you can, like, batch craft a bunch of uh, cornbread, some grilled meat, some goldenrod tea, and then... Once you've got a good amount of it, you can just go to the trader, take the quest, take it over, boom, there you go. You've got a quest almost completely done for you. You just do a quick clear and then you get a nice extra reward for it. Now, it does scale by the tiers, so like you need a lot of food for like a tier 5, but it, I do think you do quite low-level POIs for the high-level feeding quests, so there is something to be said about that. But the resource cost is the main limitation of those. Don't mind me just moving at the speed of evolution here. Probably want to bring all this junk back, you know. Right, let's head out to this fetch quest. It's just a normal tier one fetch. Nothing to be worried about, hopefully. <laughs> oh, hey, a mailbox. Sledgehammer, scrap it. Tactical warfare. Gonna go ahead and scrap it. Probably not gonna use machine guns, because I did that in the last series. Start the quest and loot this stuff again. Handgun magazine. Yeah, I'll learn that. I want to use handguns in this series, I think. Among other things. So, is the thing in here? No one's home. Uh, it's in the other room. Okay, we can go there. Oh, of course, this room's locked. I'm just gonna bash in. I'm not gonna go all the way around. Where's the zombie? Is he up there or is he down here? Oh, hi. Snatch this. And I'm out. 
no reason to stick around. Could get some loot out of there, but there's no rush on it. It only gets better as you wait. I've got my five first aid bandages, which is the most valuable loot to me right now anyway. Five first aid bandages means five fuck-ups that I get for free. Hey, you. I'll take the 762. Now I can load this. Hmm, nice. What else do you have? Uh, let's take the buried supplies then, I guess. I got nothing else to do. I hate these quests, but when there's nothing else to do, you'll do them. Potatoes, nice. Oh, hi, snake. Of course, the really nice thing about my pipe machine gun, aside from having a panic weapon, is if that vulture gets a little bit closer, I can kill it very easily. I wouldn't want to waste shots on it now. Look at that accuracy, it's not the best. But if it gets a little close but keeps, you know, pulling away, I can kill it quite easily. And those coyotes as well. Let me try and kill this guy over here first. He's kind of looking at me. Let's start the quest now. Let me try and stay light though. Uh, you can make more first aid bandages. Let me see. Aloe. Drop the one spare. Drink the water. There we go. I can move. Craft a bandage for that. And then we can make another first aid bandage. Let me start digging. I'm going to get mostly crushed sand. But at least it is easier to do this. Because it is lighter on the health. Compared to the 250. It's only 180. Oh really? The first shrink on the tier 1 and I get two zombies? This is an injustice. At least my club's decent. Ah, there's a skill point. I'm going to put that in a one-off living off the land, so I will get twice as many aloe from aloe plants now, for example. Meaning I only need to kill two of these to get enough aloe to make an aloe cream, which is then turned into a first aid bandage. I can make three first aid bandages right now. I'm going to have a full hot bar of them in no time, which just makes this challenge way easier than it would have otherwise been. That is me leveraging the power of the desert to my advantage. Oh, there's the thing. It's underneath me. It's been there the whole time. Ooh, a sham chowder and a bunch of food. Right. Grab that. Let's just run away. No reason to fight them. Although, let me grab these. See ya. Thank you. Hey, Hugh. Ooh, 1500 wood. That's a pain in the ass to get in the desert, you know. Let me grab that. I'll take another buried supplies. Have I got time for it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go put some stuff back in my base, though. Then I can make another bandage there, which will mean I'll have two stacks of first aid bandages. See why I wanted those books now? Why I focused on those instead of other things? It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Because now I can just outheal any problem, which was probably the most immediate benefit I was going to get. I need to remember to collect more paper. Then again, I'm doing buried supplies, so what exactly is it even going to do for me? I'm going to have to keep buying water from him. But I should save up for a do collector first, so I can at least alleviate some of the costs of living. It might even be worth, if I'm going to drink anything at all, just turn it into yucca juice. It does take longer, but once you learn the recipe, it just, you know, you get a little bit of extra hydration out of each bottle of water you drink. So if you're trying to min-max the use of your water, that's one way to do it. That is efficient in the desert, at least. There's probably better drinks you could make. Maybe coffee would be better, but you're going to find a lot more yucca in the desert than you are coffee, that's for sure. Practically free, aside from the 1 minute 20 it takes to craft. Jesus, fun pimps! I don't know if there's more chickens in the desert, or if it's just really easy to see them here, but I'm getting a lot of meat today. Alright, I'm here at the next quest. Let me clear out the immediate area here, and there's a couple of zombies running around. And this guy flying around. Three arrows, nice. Let's get started. Nice thing about Buried Supplies quests is they're usually going to give you medicine as a reward as well. You saw the last one had painkillers as an option, but I just saw the wood as more useful. Uh, but if it was the three first aid kit one, you'd bet I'm taking that. <laughs> no zombies that time? Nope. The amount of bloody water I've used because it's hot and I'm in the desert and I'm using stamina is ridiculous. Then I need to get some... Oh, maybe I could make a leather poncho or do you need a recipe for that? Hmm. I'll put that on the list of shit I need to make then, because that'll help with heat a lot. Same with, like, a cowboy hat. <laughs> ah, you need a book for those. Okay. <laughs> this is agonizing. You need to carry, like, ten bottles of water if you want to do a buried supplies in the desert. <laughs> ah, hello. Got any water in here? Ah, murky water. I can't really use that. I've got chicken soup. That's ten water, and so is the miso soup. Drink these. And it is drinking because I'm doing it for hydration. That's that's how it is drinking. I'll read that one book, and I'm just going to run away. I'll use so much stamina fighting them, it's not even worth it. <laughs> right, that's like half the day gone, and all the quests are pretty much done. Because uh, I did that first, like, test quest. So, I suppose I'll spend the rest of my day in the town gathering up paper for more books, particularly those home cooking books. Oh, and maybe getting the materials for a do collector as well, that would be massively helpful. An extra 60 water a day, 
sounds like it's not that much, but it is something at least. Oh, and level 2 pipe machine done. Nice. Also, that motel next to my house probably has a whole lot of toilets in it that I could get murky water from for extra water as well. Bow hunters. I almost never craft bows. Quests usually give you them anyway, so I'll just take the data. Vehicle adventures. Nice. I will just keep working towards my goals with that. Let's see. I've got five water there, and I've got five water there. I'll hold on to the yucca there, and we'll make some yucca juice once I have level eight in food. So that's not going to be particularly soon. Oh, and have I got 20 leather still? Yeah. Oh, didn't grab it there. Leather poncho, which gives you good heat resistance for relatively cheap. Yeah, an extra 13 heat resist, I'll take that. I could probably make more plant fiber stuff to help with it as well. I'm just used to it not really mattering. Because in the forest, you're really not going to notice. Let's see, plant fiber hat. Do I have any gloves? Uh, no, I don't have gloves, so we can also make plant fiber gloves, just until I find actual armor, which is probably more useful than heat resist, but in the meantime, I'll take it. So that gives me 30 points of heat resist. That's not bad. It's something. I've still got a little bit of environmental protection from the noob jacket anyway, so should be good enough for now. Huh. Let's see, 500 cobblestone blocks. Ooh, less stamina when sprinting with a club I'm going to take, because... If I use less stamina, I use less water, because the way that stamina regens is by using points of food and water. Or I think it's just water. And your health regens by using points of food. Both go down passively as well. So I don't have any quests, but let's go have a look around for some paper and some water. Those are the two things I need the most right now. I got any lockpicks? Let's try this, because you can get like 500 cash from these, and if you scrap that, you can definitely get all the paper you need for these books for a while. Uh, you can also sell it for dukes or use it in shotgun crafting if you like, but I'm just going to try and get it for books. Here we go. 375, or 372 paper. Here's, yeah, there's enough for 10 books. Still a little bit of uh, paper in here as well, so I can get some more there. Yeah, that'll get me up to like, this will probably get me up to like 300 paper, which is enough to make some amount of books for a while. I'm going to go have a look in the actual town, which is over here, for some mailboxes, so that I can get just some more research data to craft any books I need. Night Stalker. Never encumbered at night. Don't really care. Scrap that. Isn't there usually a cement mixer around here? Oh, I've got to watch out for that coyote there. Oh, hey there. The mailbox. Just some paper. And... I guess this isn't the one with the cement mixer, but it is the one with the ammunition box, so that's something. Uh, pipe pistol. I mean, I've got 9 mil ammo, I need a way to shoot people with it. And various kinds of ammo there as well. Ow, sudden sprint burst is the worst. Let me eat a first aid bandage though, because I can afford it now. No, I accidentally ate a second one, okay. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I needed it though, so it's fine. Hi. Ooh, first aid bandage in a cast, and some vitamins. Oh, hey, a skill point. Let me get some minor 69er, because, oof, digging is a pain out here. This place got a cement mixer. That's definitely got... Ah, here we go. Forge ahead. Workbench might give me one. Nah, not this time. Vehicle adventures, and I'll scrap that. I'm not going to craft my own bicycle. It's a lot of effort, I think. You need a workbench to do it anyway, and I'm a little boys off of that. I'll just take the free quest reward. That was a profitable run down that street. I've got an extra 64 data, so six books worth. Could definitely get all the basic food recipes I need. Uh, let me waste a sham chowder. I don't care. I'm crazy. It is a lot of healing to waste, to be fair. But healing is no longer that big of a deal for me, is it? Hey, they have a kitchen here. Kitchens are a very good source of the Home Cooking Weekly books. And of course, if I get a bunch of Home Cooking Weeklies from kitchens, I don't need to waste the research data on Home Cooking Weeklies. But I do still want to progress it forward if I can. But these are very easily accessible kitchens, so I'm going to take advantage of that. It does feel wasteful to use data on Home Cooking Weeklies, because it is one of the easiest books to find, but it's also one of the most absolutely infuriating to deal with, because it takes like one more book every time to unlock like two recipes. It's, you'll get like red tea and cornbread. Wow, thank you. Very cool game. Right, I'm going to go home before I get caught out here in the streets. 
but I do have enough research data for seven more books. Would very easily be able to get enough for another book. But I think I'll save my data for the next episode. I'll come round here again, see all these caravans. I feel like all of them probably have a food pile in them, which would be a very easy source of the books. Because they're pretty much guaranteed to give you one home cooking weekly. So before I waste, you know, eight books worth of data doing that just to get up to, like, yucca juice, I will do those first. And then if I decide I still want another eight books of home cooking weekly, it'll get me a lot further. Otherwise, I can dump it into Forge Ahead and make workbenches. And cement mixers and stuff like that. But the research thing is very, very helpful, especially for books that don't have such easily guaranteed spawns as the Medical Journal and Home Cooking Weekly, because Medical Journals almost always spawn in either first aid cabinets or medical piles, like, almost always. Even after you've finished the Medical Journal books, you will keep finding them. Same with Home Cooking Weekly, you'll almost always find them in food piles, shamway boxes, and usually at least one per kitchen, so you don't have to use the research on them, but at the same time, in this challenge they are arguably the most important books to have up to a decent level, so that you can exist. You need good drinks, and you need good food and water to do the food quests, and first aid bandages as well. But beyond those initial levels, I'm in no rush for those, I don't think. Uh, what time is it? I can probably run to the trader and buy the water filter if I sell him some random shit that I don't really need. Hopefully that'll do, just to get a water filter easier. I'll still need to go out and gather up enough scrap polymer for it, but it's not a hard thing to gather. There we go. Water filter. Oh, they're only 2,000. I don't need to sell any of that then, that's fine. Uh, has he got any cobblestone? Because I do need it. No. Okay. So tomorrow we'll keep doing the quest, we'll get tier 1 complete and get a bicycle. Hopefully I can get some better rewards for some of the unique quests we have. And I'll definitely go around that building there, gather up all the water. I will try and go through some of the food related POIs and get as much food magazines as I think I need before I waste time making my own food magazines because if I can get like 10 vehicle adventures rather than 10 food magazines that's going to be very very big so we'll try and do that first anyway let me know what you think of this challenge and as always in the first episode of every series it's the most important that you'd actually do like and subscribe and stuff i normally don't ask but it does help the most on the first episode of a series so if you're enjoying this let me know and in the meantime a special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, you can find the links down in the description. If you've watched this video, you'll probably be interested in another one. I would recommend the one on the top right right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.